the symposium focused on how to improve, how to personalize the management of patients with CLL. We believe that uh, treatment choices should rely on four different pillars, the patient profile, the profile of the drugs that are available for uh, the patient, the, importantly, the patient preferences, but also the biological profile, the biological background of the malignant cells. Richard Rosenquist focused a lot on the biological background, and he explained to us why TP53 gene aberrations and the immunoglobulin gene somatic hypermutation status still represent the cornerstone for biological risk stratification in CLN. Ricard also covered other important uh, novel information regarding emerging biomarkers like complex karyotype or novel recurrent gene mutations, which are emerging as potentially relevant, but for which the available evidence is still not so compelling that could um, make us test for them in routine clinical practice. Then Carol Moreno took us through the treatment algorithm for frontline treatment and explained how this is becoming increasingly complex, which is not a bad thing, quite the contrary. This means that we are indeed avoiding a one-fits-all approach and turning to more individualized treatment options. Paolo Ghia moderated the discussion, and uh, in that part, we tried to uh, somehow present a view of the future, a view to the future, and this is um, combinations of novel agents with um, uh, the on the rationale that these combinations will be more effective and hopefully lead to much deeper disease control, if not eradication. This will inevitably mean having tools, having the right tools to assess how deep we went. In other words, we will need robust approaches for assessing measurable residual disease, for assessing MRD. Are we already there? The answer is not. However, recent uh, reports from ongoing clinical trials are indeed very promising.